Hi, this is about EPFO, Employees Provident Fund. We are going to get, uh, if you have an account in EPF, you are going to get close to 81,000 rupees as interest which is paid, to be paid end of this month. How 81,000 is being paid? The calculation of interest is done at the rate of 8.1%, that is pretty high. And in case you are holding 10 lakhs of rupees, you will get 81,000 rupees. In case you are holding 1 lakh of rupees, you will get 8,100 in your account. So, there are close to 7,000 crore subscribers of Employees Provident Fund. So, they are supposed to get, this is a good news, that you are supposed to get the interest at the rate of 8.1%. So EPF amount is already calculated, 72,000 crore is the amount uh, you know, that is being already settled to the banks and last year it took close to 6 months time because of uh, Covid restrictions. This year the calculation is already run and the amount is also transferred from the treasury to the, the bank, respective banks for the credit and the end of the month. Uh, interest amount will be credited end of this month as uh, we discussed a little earlier. Supposing you have 10 lakh principal, the amount you will get is 81,000 rupees. And in case you have 7 lakhs of rupees, 56,700 rupees will be credited as interest to your account. And in case, as I told you, 1 lakh of rupee, you will get 8,100 rupees. To know uh, what is the balance available in your EPF account, you can uh, you can go to, uh, there, is a, there is a number, phone number available. But uh, when I tried that number, it says your, your account is not... Uh, they are linked in that. So you can also keep a note of this 011-2290-1406 is the number given. Uh, you can try and see whether your account is linked and you, you get a, a balance. If you, you have to give a missed call to this number and uh, you may get the balance. Alternatively, what you can do is you can go to a website called epfindia.gov.in. I will repeat epfindia.gov.in. When you go in that and you type e-passbook, you have to give your universal account number, UIN number, which is specific to EPF account, and then give your password there, or you can generate the password and your balances will be reflecting. Uh, for which, for this purpose, your universal account number should have been linked with your PAN and your other card, other number. This is mandatory. Once th this linkage is available, then you can see the balance online also. Make use of this facility and then find out how much balance is available for you. Always, uh, you know, there is an option given to each employee um, to, to, to contribute more than the prescribed limit. So there is a set limit for each employee to contribute towards employee's provident fund. You can also go a little beyond that and then uh, give the tran transfer to this. So you can make use of that facility because once the salary is credited, when the amount is credited, we always tend to spend all of it. In case it comes after the deduction for your savings purposes, it is always welcome that you will not know that hidden savings that is happening month on month basis. So you can uh, opt for the maximum percentage and that percentage can be going towards the employee's provident fund for you, which will be given at the time of uh, uh, your retirement or your uh, terminal benefit. As terminal benefit, it is handed over to you. The, uh, over and above that, you can also avail loan. I think you are aware of that. So all these details are available in EPF uh, in the website epfindia.gov.in. You can go there and then see that, and then make the best use of this uh, employees provident fund scheme. Um, if there is any question on this, please put it in the description. I will clarify your doubts. Um, circulate this video, and then um, recommend this for recommend this Krupa Wives channel for subscription. Thank you very much. Bye bye.